Hey everybody, it's Blue Toad, and welcome back to Super Mario Odyssey. It's time to get the rest of the moons in this level, and then we can move on to the next kingdom, I guess. There's one over here, actually, in this tree that we can get. And a lot of these moons are just so easy, they just go grab them, I guess. And then the rest of them are just... I don't know, a little bit more effort put into it, but still. Uh, let's see, I think I'm gonna have to head up to the top again, just so I can get the rest... ...quicker. Hopefully. Now, let's see. I'm actually surprised at how little coins I have at this point in the game. I, sh I think I should have way more than I currently do. Also, this is fun. Not again! So we have to go get Cappy. And it might be worth going out of my way to change a few things out here. Possibly? I'm not entirely sure about that. It might be possible that these are just going to be in the alignment that I need them to be anyway. Possibly. Also, it's a... Moon block level, which is cool. <gasps> I nearly fell in the lava. Scare it off. I think it actually paid off changing it. Oh my goodness. That's useful. Easy. Stupid bird. Anyway, I'm fine. No problem. Let's go already. Okay then, let's get this... this moon. Chasing Klepto. Is that what it's called? I guess so. Anyway. This is a secret level, so let's grab a Potaboo and let's go over here. And let's jump for this power moon. Extremely hot bath. It's just in the air there. Anyway, that's this level done, so let's move on everything else that's outside. I think there's only like two more left, so we're almost done here. Oh, there's no, no, there's more than that. That's interesting. There might be ones that I have to actually come back for, or maybe they're just available. And I didn't realize it. I don't know. There might have been some that just became available after coming back to this level later. Lost Kingdom regular cap? Yeah, I know. I'm gonna come back to that. Otherwise, it's just gonna tell me ones I, I already know. So it looks like it's that note one and the one that's just over there. So let's go ahead and do that. And I actually need this caterpillar. Grab that, please. Oh boy, this looks like an interesting time. Very interesting. I'll go fast. Good. Very nice. Taking notes. Stretch and shrink. And now to get that one there. Come on, Cappy. You can do better than that. Where's this going to put me, though? Am I back at the top? If I'm back at the top, that makes it extremely easy. Kind of... Kind of back at the top. Anyway. I want a cat bounce there, thank you. Jump down to the top of a tree. It says that there are four more moons, and I can only see those two there. Not crazy, am I? Doesn't look like it. Let's go do those ones. I have some more Koopa free running to do. Which should be fairly easy. They are all fairly easy after all. Oh, actually, I think I know one. That I can think of. It's probably like this, isn't it? Just something somewhere in the sky. Yep, there it is. Hey, look, it's a taxi. It has to go so far.
There it is. Guess I should go get that first. Taxi flying through Forgotten Isle. Well, that's a race. We have to race from about here to the top of the level. Now, do I actually know how to make the shortcuts? That is the question. Do I need the shortcuts? I can probably do it. Oh, please. Please. No. That's a pretty good sh that's a pretty good skip. I mean, it's going to be crushing the competition, especially since we don't even have the gold Cooper Trooper yet. We just have to make our way up here. And we should be very good. Incredibly good. Forty six seconds. Let's go for the next one. And then figure out if I'm missing a moon here or if I have to do something else. That's the regular cup down. And let's go against the gold one. And rest in peace purple because purple's gone now. Probably gonna try and do the same route that I did last time, except a little bit faster if possible. Because I did terrible. Oh, no, that's not good. Oh, that's not good either. Oh my goodness. Hang on. Can I just make that jump? Yeah, I can just make that jump. Oh, he's going fast. I just realized I could see him over there doing his own tricks. And he's just, he's going fast, but also I'm going faster, so... I don't even have any problems with this... ...right now. Wish this was Mario 64 so I could wall jump faster than this. Because that's a thing. Did slightly slower, but only by a few milliseconds. That's pretty good, though. Now I see about that last moon. There's no hint art that I haven't done yet, is there? Don't think so. It does say that there's one left, and it's a regular one, so... I have an idea of what it might be, but also I don't think it is what I think it is. I'm gonna talk to the talker too, because that's who I talk to. Don't do that! Oh my goodness. <laughs> I, I beat the, 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 the creeper free running and then I do stuff like that. Anyway. Because sometimes I die because I'm trying to throw Cappy. I met a tropical wriggler. Okay. I somehow forgot about that one. Even though I, I saw that that was there earlier. Anyway, let's just, ooh, get this. And now if we take this regular, I guess that's what these are, tropical rig regulars. Just gonna go past here, and then, oh boy, can I even do this? I think I need to do a little bit of that. Come here. Thank you. And then... Then can I do that? No. This doesn't kill us if I have this here, right? Hopefully. And then ground pound. Yeah, cool. That works. And then we take it over to this guy here. He wants to see one of these tropical wrigglers. Ah, so it's like a built... like It's built like a chain. That's what lets it stretch. Sounds a bit like an accordion. 
I understand. They, the mystery is solved, thanks to you. And there we go, that's everything in the Lost Kingdom. Also, it's cool to think about the moon blocks being what the Odyssey is made of because the Odyssey is powered by the, the moon, power moons. So everything makes so much sense by the way that the blocks connect to everything, basically. Okay, next up is... Um, the Ruined Kingdom, actually. There was actually some moons that we could have got there before beating the game. Also, there's no- the- the cutscenes of the Odyssey flying from the clouds up and down doesn't happen anymore, and you- you don't get Cappy telling you about the tips and tricks that you already should know. But anyway... Let's look around here, and I might... Okay, so there are like, a few up there already. And there's one that we can get if we go over this way. Just cling onto that and then go around. This treasure pile. Which we could actually just jump down to, from above, on the other, other side. I, that's what I usually do. Um, let's go back over this way though. We need to hit that block for the rest of the moons to be available so I can just get them all done at once. Where is it? It's down here somewhere, yep. So there they are, not a ton, but that's just how it is. We're cleaning up the easy worlds first. And I need to pay attention to my compass because it actually has markers for when markers are nearby. Like, right next to one. Like here. So I think I need to get up here if I can. Like so. And then the, there's the glowing. There's the glowing. So let's grab that. Upon the Broken Arch. Oh, there's actually two behind the Odyssey in the, the secret thing there. I'll come back for that, but first let's head up this way. Also, the dragon isn't technically evil, it's just being controlled by... Um... Bowser. So, tired. It's just worn out now. This kingdom, well, let's just say it's a fixer-upper. As long as I'm with Peach, I'll be fine, I'm sure. But I did find a power moon here. I hope it's useful to you and your travels. Peach in the Ruined Kingdom. wonder if it's true that the dinosaurs- oh my goodness. She just says that every single time until I go to the Cascade Kingdom, apparently. Anyway, there's actually a power moon up here to get. It's interesting that this dragon counts as something that can have power moons appear on it after we break the block. Caught on a big horn. Now there's only a few other things around here to do. Like this random rocket that was here if we came back late uh, earlier. So let's do that. We'll do this 8-bit sec secret level, which is pretty cool. Also, this background is very interesting to look at. Just interesting to look at, you know. And now, if we can hit this P-switch at the right time, we get coins to appear. And that platform stops. The platform stops no matter what, but if you get it at the, the intended time, it will have coins appear. Just gonna run over that pit. Now we need to do it a little bit more over here as well. If you can do it, like if you set up for a roll right in front of it and then start rolling as it's like on what you want it to be or just before that, then you'll probably get the timing right, so there we go. Don't think there's anything back to the left there. I want to go up here and go up there. Now this bit is a bit interesting because I want to get up here and actually knock this shell over this way. 
which actually leads to this area. We can get another secret power moon here, so let's do that then. Let's see if I can time these correctly. Nice. If you mess up, the red ground pound switch will reset both of them to being spinning. But also, that also means that you have to redo both of them if you get one wrong, so... There we go, let's get these coins and this power moon. And now we can head back to the other part of Roulette Tower. And get the intended power moon here. I mean, they're both intended, but this one's the main one of this area, so... We have three platforms, and we need to line them up with as uh, lowest, middle, and then top. There we go. There we go. And... There we go. Perfect. I don't even know how I got all of those perfect for each one. Didn't even have to use the ground pound switch. But there we go. And we get another power moon, of course. Let's -a go right into the ground and crash. I love that about the rockets when you just go straight down, basically. Uh, anyway, there's also this rock here that we can kick around forever. And I, th I guess that's all the power moons here. Technically? Yeah, it's just the last three. So, it's a very small amount. I think it actually has to hit the ground to actually break a bit. Just have to make sure it doesn't go off any edges and just kick it around forever. Hang on. Please break. Please break. I know I said it was going to take forever because I know this one takes forever, but still. Any time game. Any time game. Any time game. I think I picked the perfect song for this, though. This is ultimate waiting music, basically. <gasps> it broke open. Let's go. Also, if you go to the thing, you can just turn it off and then it'll go back to regular music. But there's no music here anyway, so... Uh, let's head over to the Odyssey because that's where the last two are. Just behind the Odyssey. Probably in a... What's it called? A, mo a moon block pipe. Yeah, right there. It was a bit hard to see with that lighting, actually. And this one is actually a very interesting place. We've got these uh, mummies, but we don't need to worry about them. What we need to worry about is grabbing this and then grabbing this charger guy. Just go straight through them all, breaking literally everything. And all of this over here as well for some treasure. Massive treasure. As long as we don't crash into anything, we just keep this guy out. But basically, we just need him to break this open for that. But also, if we can get back to the other side again and go up. There's a pole here. There's actually a sparkling mummy up here that we need to get rid of for a moon. There we go. The Mummy Army's Curse. Did I get the other moon already? I think I did, but I'm already down here now. Oh my goodness. Just get out of here. Out of here. Oh dear, this is bad. I mean, it's not bad if I die. It's just coins if I die. 
It's just my money that I lose when I die. And there we go, that should be everything in this kingdom. The lighting is so weird in this place. Hey, new products in the shop. Also, does this... Yeah, it plays a different song at different times. So now it's playing Jump Up Superstar, another great song. This game just has great songs. I just have to say that. Now, I think that's actually pretty much everything except for the, the moon and the dark side. The dark side is obviously just the moon part two. Kind of, except it's more focused on challenge, challenges. So I could actually leave this for now and actually do the rest of the moons. Um, I'm kind of tempted to do it now, but I also need to open up the, the paintings. And I can't remember which worlds I don't have all the paintings for yet. I think I did those ones, the Metro Kingdom. Wooded Kingdom, I got both of them. Lake Kingdom, I got both of them. Sand Kingdom, I got both of them. Cascade Kingdom. I went through that. And it didn't work. So what's with the Bowser one? Why is the Bowser one not open? That should be open. That's strange. It could be open now that I have more moons, possibly. No, that wouldn't be right. I don't know. Hang on, I'm going to check that again. Because the, we, the, the reason we went on this... The Easy Worlds thing that I've just done um, was because that painting wasn't open. Hmm? The moon rock here is glowing too. Let's be sure to check that. I wonder if it's because I didn't odyssey my way here. Hang on. Let's go check. Music. Suddenly music. Is it open now? Yes it is. And that should be a complete loop of every single world available to us now. That's so strange that I wasn't available before though. Well we just pop out up here. So now it's time to start cleaning up every single world. I guess this is actually a pretty good spot to start. I like this world. Except for that one moon. That will sh shall remain nameless, even though I've already named it plenty of times. Now let me see if this actually has a different color if it... when it explodes. Kind of. It kind of, because it feels like you can see the moons dropping down from it. Oh, speaking of which, there's quite a few for this kingdom, since this is one of the bigger kingdoms. But uh, it's mostly just the same colour. Anyway, let's get started on the, all this, because it's going to take us a little bit of time to get the rest of the moons in the game. And where is this other one that I'm trying to go to? Right there, I guess. Is it this glowing spot? I think it's this glowing spot. Um, hang on, did it move? It's gone. It's, it's just straight up gone. Cool. I like it when the moons disappear. Anyway, let's head up this pole though. Because if I can get to the top of this pole, to get up here, there's actually a glowing spot on this pole. Also, once you beat the game, characters from each kingdom travel to different kingdoms, which is really cool. A light next to the lighthouse. Oh, there it is. I have to go. Go, 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 go. There we go. Seaside Kingdom Timer Challenge 3. Oh my goodness, 3. Is that just a moon over there? It is a moon, just a moon over there. There seems to be a good mix of challenging to not challenging moons just around the world, apparently. 
Uh, I think this one's a little bit difficult for the... A little bit different for the hidden moon. Oh, that was close. But I think I know where I need to go to get the, uh, the secret. Oh my goodness, this is pain. <laughs> this is pain. These... Oh, these spinies are making this interesting. Uh, that way... No, 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 no. Ow. Actually, spiny, if you come over here quickly, I'm gonna show you something really cool. It's not working. Get in the hole! And he's gone. Cool. Um, can I throw Cappy into that, please? Yes, I can. And I can do that as well. Oh my goodness. These spinies are pain. Spinies are pain. Just gonna push you into there. Oh my goodness. Spiny. <gasps> Ooh, that was close. That was very close. Very, very close. I don't even know what accent I'm trying to go with there. Uh, I don't think this is where I need to be. Uh, but it is where I need to be for this moon piece, so I'm gonna grab that. There we go. Let's head on back. Carefully. Oh, very carefully, very carefully, very carefully. So, we get that. That's the last moon piece, so we can get back there now. Also, this is the moon block level. I just realized I don't notice the moon block levels for some reason. Even though I love them so much. Uh, but there's a little gap on this spinning wheel that if it's on this particular side has a hole here, which gives us an extra power moon. The spinning maze, open! The spinning maze, search. Let's keep moving. And oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, moons. I just wish there were more moons, actually. Like, I know there are a lot to, of moons to get, but I really like collecting collectibles in this game. It's just so satisfying. I don't know what it is. I just like it, okay? Um, some more over there, actually. That I can go get. Just, uh... I guess there's that glowing spot there is one of them. It's just, this. it's just out in the open, I guess. Cool. At the base of the lighthouse. Uh, the other one's just gone. I think it's probably a bird or something. Actually, if it is a bird... ...or something... ...I might be able to get it... ...by doing something like this. But also I need to... ...figure out... ...where and what it is. Oh, I can touch that for water? That's cool. So it looks like that one... Is that one moving? Hang on. I'm concerned and confused. It looks like it's right here, so it's probably in the pixel area, right? Right. Let me go to the underground. Go, go, go. Oh, yep, it's a note collection. I'm gonna take all these notes. That actually collects the notes, that's cool. Oh, get down there, Mario. Get down there, Mario. Good Mario. Oh, and don't jump down yet. I need to go get that moon. Grab that. Ocean Bottom Maze. Taking notes. Okay, so... I'm sure there is actually a moon that's moving around. I'm so sure. Um, I want to get that squid guy. So I can go get a particular moon that I'm thinking of right now. Which is right... Oh, I think I'm too low for this. That's a shame. Oh wait, that works. That works out really well because right over here is a power moon on, on the outside. There's also one on the inside that I have to get, get, so... And it's not exactly the easiest thing to get into, so I guess I'll have to just go to one of the the uncorked bottle things. 
Can I just jump into it from here? Yes, I can. Okay, that's cool. I'm glad that- Oh, I saw the bird. Also, hey, Peach. I love how this giant glass looks sparkling in the setting sun. Is there anything more romantic than the sea? Oh, and a power moon came in with the tide. It's all yours now. Peach in the Seaside Kingdom. I wonder if it's true that- die. Okay, I'm gonna ignore that. Goodbye. Let's get this other power moon that's down here. What shines inside the glass? Okay, let's see now. There's one right off the edge... ...here? Oh, it's this rabbit here. Mari, get moving, please. There we go. Ow. Grab that, please, Mario. Thank you. Caught hopping at Glass Palace. There's still quite a lot of stuff left to do. Actually, I've made a decent chunk. I got a decent chunk of the moons already. Yeah, there's only like 10 more to go. But anyway, that is it for now. So thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time.